Good morning. What is Grace Christian School? Students in classrooms, engaged in learning, playing sports, giving concerts, but you would see those activities in any school that you went to. So what is Grace Christian School? It's a ministry that began in the fall of 1975 with two staff members and 12 students, ages four, five, and six. Its structure is the same as the structure of the church. It's gospel-centered, and that begins with staff. God has been faithful over the years to give us Christian staff members who are dedicated to educating our students and to worry about their spiritual growth as well. Back in 1982, we had a staffing crisis. Our music teacher's husband took a job in New Mexico, and that meant that after Christmas, we wouldn't have a music teacher. But our crisis was just God's way of doubly blessing us. Because the next position that we wanted to staff was physical education. And God had already prepared a young couple graduating in mid-year. She was a music teacher. He was a physical education teacher. And so Lisa and Bill Blackford <laughs> came to grace. <laughs> One afternoon in November 1983, our first soccer team, coached by Bill, took the field, and they were wearing t-shirts that Bill had bought and dyed blue because we didn't have school uniforms. Unfortunately, they lost that first soccer game to Odenton Christian School, 7-4, to four. but that was the beginning of our three seasons of sports for our middle school students here. This fall, our boys' soccer team placed second in their tournament, winning the runner-up trophy. Our girls' volleyball team capped an undefeated season, winning their tournament. And our boys' and girls' basketball teams separated, celebrated their tournament wins. In 1988, God moved a young lady, Miss Cindy Taylor, from Michigan to Maryland to teach music in Grace Christian School and to find the husband that he had prepared for her. In 1995, God gave us Judy Avenger, who is now in her 19th year of teaching music here at Grace Christian School. Judy directs the Acorn Choir, and as they are giving their Christmas and spring musicals, she's also directing our students in kindergarten through grade three in their Christmas and spring musicals. In 2011, one of Judy's student teachers, Danny Beth Tanyos, returned to Grace to be part of our music staff. And in, in 2000, God gave us an extraordinary history teacher, Brady Wolcott. <laughs> No longer teaches history, but I'm sure you'll agree with me, he is still an extraordinary teacher. <laughs> In 2005, God gave us an outstanding middle school math teacher, and now as our children's pastor, Jamie Miller is teaching biblical truth to our students in grades three to five in chapel time. Pastor Jamie just finished a series of lessons for them on living for God. The topic for this lesson was how should you treat student people who mistreat you? Does that mean that students in a Christian school can mistreat others? Yeah. The difference is that when issues arrive, we deal with them on the basis of God's word. In this lesson, Pastor Jamie taught the children about God's method of reconciling personal differences and forgiveness in the 18th chapter of Matthew. Discipline at Grace Christian School can be summed up by 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. As our former pastor, David Price, would say, through God's word, our students learn what is right, doctrine, what is not right, reproof, how to get right, correction, and how to stay right, 
instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Biblical instruction and scripture memorization are a very important part of the curriculum at Grace Christian School. But God's truth is in every subject, every grade level. Back in 1975, one of our biblical objectives for reading was that our students would learn to read God's word for themselves. And in the spring of 1976, seven of those students had achieved that goal. So they were presented with their very own Bibles in a morning worship service. They used those Bibles then in school, both for Bible time and as a reading text. If you look carefully at the little girl in the middle of the back row, that's Debbie Bird, now Babcock. Even then, God was preparing her to return to us in 1993 to be part of our teaching staff. We still give Bibles to our first grade students every year, and they use those at school. In 2014, one of the objectives for our students in kindergarten reading is that as they're learning to read, they would be able to tell if a story is make-believe or if it's true. But the important thing they learn is that God's word is always true. Fourth grade students in science study the movements of the moon and other heavenly bodies, and they see those as examples of God's faithfulness and dependability. Middle school students in chamber choir evaluate the lyrics of their favorite songs based on Philippians 4.8. Music is part of corporate worship at Grace Christian School. Students in kindergarten through grade two have chapel once a month. Pastor Jamie leads the chapel services for students in grades three to five weekly. And local pastors, including our own, address biblical issues with our students in grades six through eight in their weekly chapels. There are opportunities for service. Some of our middle school students are on the worship team, leading their classmates in song during their chapel times. They can also be in the service club, helping younger students and assisting teachers in various ways. We also have opportunities for school-wide service. Over a hundred of the boxes sent from Grace Baptist Church for Operation Christmas Child were donated by school families. And Joy Wolcott, who was leading up that project, yeah, she was part of the school. She was on our secretary, she was our secretary for a number of years. Discipleship is the reason that Grace Christian School exists. Our mission is to provide an education integrated with scriptures to help students build a rock-solid foundation of faith so that they can live for Christ and serve him. A number of our graduates are serving in ministries of Grace Baptist Church. Yvonne Harton, with her husband, Joe Tofigi, are missionaries in Turkey. Christy Seawalk is in Russia. Here at home, Brandon Redmond and Patrick Livesey are ushering. Sean Brown, Joshua, and Nathan Seawalk work with Bill Blackford in the U-Turn and 24-7 youth ministries. Joshua and Nathan are also in the orchestra, along with Amanda Redmond and Stephanie Yeager. Kim Hopkins sings in the choir, and she assists Judy Navinger with the acorn choir. Kristen Blackford is our church secretary, and of course, Bryce Blackford leads us in choral worship on Sunday mornings. Grace Christian School is a community of 327 adults and students living, working, growing together. We encourage our students to strive for excellence, to use to the fullest the abilities, talents, and gifts that God has given them. In the classroom, on the playing field, in performances, but also through our fine arts festivals. After our school festival, the highest scoring projects and performances go on to state festivals. These are our trophy winners in elementary music, junior high music, projects, and speech. Last Friday was the state festival for our elementary students for their speeches and projects, and in the hallway are the 13 trophies that they won, and we invite you to take a look at those before you leave. As staff members, we're also striving for excellence, learning through conventions, in-service, summer study, 
how to better serve our ministry that God has given to us. And as a school, we strive for excellence through accreditation. We're currently accredited with the Mid-Atlantic Christian Accrediting Agency, but that term of accreditation is about to expire. So beginning next year, the staff will be involved in a two-year self-study. At the end of that time, a group of Christian educators will come and spend many days here thoroughly examining every part of the school program. And when that's completed, we will then have double accreditation through the Association of Christian Schools International and Middle States. So what is Grace Christian School? It's a trellis provided by Grace Baptist Church to support the education and spiritual growth of our students as we assist parents in raising them in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord. In your bulletins is an insert, and there you can also find additional ways to get more information about the school, beginning with an open house at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Our open house table is set up in the hallway across from the Welcome Center, and there's information there about the school and also about our summer day camp program. So if that would be of any interest to you, please feel free to take whatever you would like. Thank you very much.